Church's large canvas captures magnificently the drama of Niagara Falls, one of his country's most famous landmarks. This painting, based on a drawing Church made at Niagara in July 1856, and on a sepia photograph touched with color, was commissioned by the New York art dealer Michael Nodler in 1866. It may originally have been destined for the Universal Exhibition in Paris, as Church was selected to represent America there. It was bought in 1887 by John S. Kennedy, who presented it to his native Scotland. Which side of Niagara Falls is better? It's a tough call because both sides have their unique charm and offerings. The Canadian side wows with its grandeur and picture-perfect views, while the US side gets you up close to the falls and offers a quieter, more nature-centric experience. Ultimately, it all comes down to your preferences. Are you seeking heart-stopping proximity or serene tranquility? Whichever side you choose, a visit to Niagara Falls will undoubtedly leave you in awe of the power and beauty of Mother Nature. Frederick Edwin Church was an American landscape painter born on May 4, 1826 in Hartford, Connecticut, United States. He passed away on April 7, 1900 leaving a legacy as one of the greatest painters of the Hudson River School. Church was famous for his works in the Romanticism movement, and specialized in landscape painting.